I mean, basically, our idea is um, to try and kind of get the message about the basketball club out to a wider audience. Um, and because we're aiming at kids mainly, we've kind of gone down the lines of things that we know kids are using, so like your Facebook, and um, we'd like to start a website. So for the website, we're looking for somebody that would be a lead contact, maybe one of the older kind of players. Um, but we need to be able to have some kind of system where we can monitor kind of what's going on there, because if you have these things where you have your forums. Um, I've seen them in the past where, you know, there's bullying and or bad language and things like that go on there. So, so yes, this was kind of our main idea. Um, so, obviously, we'll get some of the guys to go out and video some of the sessions, some of the games, and get it on there so the kids can kind of see what we're all about, basically. So, that's our idea. All right. Great. <laughs> in different generations and different groups in Springwell and Reckington area and as a starting point we've got a community allotment which we're starting up in Springwell which is the whole idea is about bringing in those different groups from different backgrounds from different ages so we're going to look at first by doing research in the community and finding out what their needs are and what they would like to see in their area and do some local canvassing as well so people are aware of what's going on in their area we decided that we'd use more traditional techniques in getting um, elderly people or the, the older generations involved in the projects or things like press and media. Um, but to attract the younger people, we're looking at Facebook, because that's really prominent in Springwell Estate, but also online communities and, and then organising events programmes for the um, different groups and the different ages to come along and get involved in activities and events in their area, which will be all based around the allotment process and uh, growing and and getting involved in that gardening uh, activities. And um, you think that will all contribute to the idea of healthier living? Definitely. I think it's very high on the agenda and it's very important for people to think about growing their own food and techniques in order to do that, as with the uh, White Hills allotment as well. Um, but I also think it's just good for people's well-being and mental health as well. And I guess from your experience this helps get pe different people from the community together? This brings people together, it gets people to uh, uh, connect with one another and build up those relationships which there aren't already. Uh, sometimes there's quite often quite big divides in, in community groups between different ages. So this will bring everyone together um, to, to grow food and to be a stronger community. I think we've already started a bit of uh, community and social reporting here with a bit wow. of video. <laughs> well, this project will... As, as a gardener, uh, allotment association, for about 10 years, this would get us online and get us some publicity, which we definitely need. We're in my funding, we've got a little bit of funding, it won't last more long, but if we can get online and demonstrate to the people of Gateshead and, and the world that what we're going to do, what we intend to do, we've got some brilliant ideas to raise money so we, we can fund ourselves. And we can make a, a contribution to the people of White Hills Allotment Association. And what uh, sorts of things do you want to do there? What, what cards have you chosen? Well, we're going to bring the schools in. We're going to teach the young children how to grow their own food. We're going to teach them gardening. We'll give them discipline. We'll have... Uh, as we'll not be part of it as gardeners, but the teachers will. And we'll be, if we can develop the gardening, garden techniques how to grow different things, dead, dead vegetables, uh, flowers and things like that, and give that, that video to the children, and they can learn themselves, and then they can go to the gardens, and they can demonstrate that, and see how they grow it. And it's an exciting thing, plants, to see how they do grow, how, how, they, how, they, how you put uh, different stuff on the gardens to uh, encourage them to grow. And then when you have it on your plates at night time or at dinner, you'll see the difference between buying it from the shop and growing your own. And that, that's a great jumping off point for a healthier way of living, I guess. It is, it is. Terrific.